just look at that sexy looking bird you want to stay tuned for this recipe i assure you holiday time mama you're mashing it up man what's up soldiers chris here caribbeanpod.com vibes it up in the kitchen as usual holiday time christmas around the corner you want something nice to stand out on that dinner table i've got you I was home down in the islands there about a month ago and my dad has this new pomegranate tree in the front yard and he was telling us uh, we all we had sort of a family reunion, reunion there he was telling us that as a kid my grandparents he lived with my grand my great grandparents had one of the biggest pomegranate trees on the island well so it goes but anyways this recipe here christmas time you know you always associated with sorrel so today we're doing a sorrel sorrel pomegranate roasted chicken in the oven here in a man this thing yo it's pure fire vibes it up i've got my chicken here all prepped and ready it's a whole chicken this is about three and a half pounds or something like well close to three and a half pounds and i like starting off with two levels of flavor so on the outside we're gonna have that pomegranate sort of glaze on the outside but from on the inside we've got to add some flavor from the inside and the first thing i'm gonna go in with is probably two slices of ginger if you like ginger you can add a bit more I'm gonna use one of this um, mandarin if you can't get mandarin or clementines you can use orange as well just gonna stuff that in there but before I'm gonna put a piece just kind of break it up just a little bit for some of that juice to flow in there and I've got about four cloves of garlic here just giving it a little smash just to to release those flavors so in goes that I'm gonna go in with half of an onion but I'm just gonna cut it again into a quarter so in total a half but the other half of the um, clementine mandarin whatever you have available and finally some fresh thyme now you can season on the inside with salt and black pepper as well but as i may have mentioned to you all quite frequently now i'm cutting back on the amount of salt that i use so i'm not going to season from the inside i'm going to season some salt and pepper on the outside here my oven is preheating to 400 degrees fahrenheit so 400 degrees fahrenheit once it comes up to temperature it's gonna go on the middle rack I'll be using my cast iron skillet to roast this off in the oven though it's well seasoned you can see it's very old it has a nice patina whatever you want to call it on the bottom there I'm still gonna go in with the just a bit of olive oil just so the chicken doesn't stick while it's in there it's gonna place that down excuse me for a second <clears throat> Just got to clean off that chicken off my hand there with some paper towels. We've got all that nice fresh ground black pepper going on there now. And here's where we're going to go on with that salt as well. You can be as liberal as you want with your salt. And as I said, you can do the black pepper and salt on the inside of the chicken as well let me just hit you guys a close-up of the chicken so as you can see we've got all that flavor happening on the outside there it's gonna go into the oven now 400 degrees Fahrenheit on the middle rack now time to make the sorrel pomegranate glaze that we're gonna put on that chicken to finish it off because remember I said the inside we've got all those herbal and garlic notes on the inside on the outside we're gonna go with a different layer of flavor and I have here a saucepan I'm just gonna go in with some brown sugar the full list of ingredients I use here today will be posted down in the description of the video and sooner or later yeah it does take me a while but it does get posted to caribbeanpot.com and I have here six six dried sorrel buds and I don't want to overpower anything because I want the flavors to be balanced between the sorrel and the pomegranate. So I'm just going to go in with six of them. If you want a more pronounced sorrel flavor, you can sort of certainly go in with that. 
I've got here, wow, we almost lost it. I've got here some organic raw honey. It's been sitting in the um, in the cupboard there. It's very cold lately, so that's why it's sort of frozen up a little bit there. Some salt. Three thin slices of ginger. Then we're gonna go. You know what amazes me? If you go to the grocery store here in North America, especially Canada, and you buy the the mandarins or the clementines with the leaves, they're almost triple the cost as the ones without the leaves. I ain't no dread. I ain't paying for well that one was on sale, that's why it came home with me, but typically I ain't paying extra for some some dry old leaf. So we've got two of them. I'm just gonna squeeze the juice in here. And if you wanted to put some of the um, the skin, that will work as well. I don't think you guys really need to see me squeeze this in here, but let's get to it quickly. And the final thing is we'll need two pomegranates, the juice of two of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and my hand is going to go red. But I don't care if the seeds and everything fall in there. That's cool. I'm just going to break those up. really want to get the juice out of it. So the juice of two pomegranates, if you can get pure pomegranate juice, you can go in with about three quarter cup of that. It's been in the oven now for about, <clears throat> for about 20, 25 minutes. And this, this step is not necessary, but I like doing it because at the end of the day, it will help develop the color but the reason why I say it's not necessary is because remember we're going on with that glaze. So I just want to keep things nice and moist here so it doesn't dry out too much. Nobody ain't trying to, to eat Crick's Biscuit chicken. Back in the oven now. Metal rack 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I've moved the pot over now to the stove where I have it on a medium flame. And you can see how nice and rich and dark and you, you just know that's going to smell good. Now if you want, and I'm just saying, if you want to add a little rum in there, you can certainly do that. To help that sorrel bloom, I'm going to go in with about three quarter cups of water. Bring that up to a boil and we want that to reduce down maybe by about a third. It's now come up to a boil, so I'm just going to turn my heat down. To sort of a, a low medium flame and I want to help that reduce down I want that and you can see the sorrel already sort of rehydrating and that lovely rich red color is coming out the kitchen is already smelling delicious reduce that down keep an eye on it though because remember the sugars all kind of sugars in there the natural sugars from the um the clementine the um the brown sugar the honey it may tend to want to burn on you so do keep an eye on things a low heat and let that slowly reduce down i was just reviewing the tape from what we recorded earlier there and i know i said reduce it by about a third what i meant to say is reduce it by two thirds so you're left with about a third of the liquid in the pot here and that is exactly what i have i'm going to turn my heat off and let that cool down a bit going to thicken up and then we're going to start um, brushing it on onto the chicken just came out of the oven one hour at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and the reason why I use that skillet is because of the low sides you're going to get color all the way around nice and even so now it's a matter of just basting it with the reduction and you can most certainly use a brush but I more like spooning it on it don't matter if some of those um, pomegranate seeds go on there that is cool after all it's a pomegranate sorrel chicken actually to be honest with you it would be more efficient to brush this on back in the oven now we want that to 
really crisp up and adding a nice pomegranate flavor to it. And remember, I keep saying pomegranate, but you will also get that nice hint of sorrel in there as well. I just gave it another dose of that, the third and final sort of basting with that um, sorrel pomegranate glaze. It's going to go back in the oven now and then it's all done. Remember, once you take it out of the oven the final time, to tent it and allow it to, to come back up to temperature to, you know, redistribute all those juices. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. A nice festive bird for the holidays. Yo, you just can't go wrong, man. Happy holidays. My little baby is here. We've got cookbooks, guys. WestIndianFoodCompany.com. Get your copy today.